Lydia. I'm Susan. And welcome to the Citizen Science with the River Slang project that we are undertaking here today. In this project, we will be following the river slang from its source here at Three Rock all the way to the mouth at the River Daughter. We've made it to further along the river slang from where we started at the source. And I'm curious how, Susan, will we use citizen science techniques to understand the birds that live here? Well, Alia, in a few minutes, I'm gonna show you how you can carry out a bird survey of your river or waterway. And I'll also be showing you how you can make your very own bird crown. So you can be like the wren, the king of all birds. Um, but before that, I think it's pretty cold today. So I think we might borrow a game from a colder climate where we are going to act like penguins and carry out a race. What do you think? Let's warm up. Let's do it. So Aliyah, for this game, you are going to imagine that you are a penguin who's carrying your little egg in your brood patch, which is where penguins and other incubating birds keep their eggs to keep them safe and warm until they're ready to hatch. So we are going to use a balloon today, but you can use a ball or anything else that you find around about a house. Okay, so we're going to put the balloon between our legs and we're going to waddle around the tree and see who can make it back first. Sounds exciting, Susan. Better luck next time, Susan. <laughs> so in this week's video, I'm going to show you how you can carry out a bird survey of your waterway or river. Today I'm using a bird survey from the Biodiversity in Schools website. However, you can use any survey that's online or you can even create your own. So all you need to do first is spend some time observing the river, listening and seeing what sort of birds you might discover along your waterway. Then you can tick them off. So I can hear a magpie up in the trees above us. You can also use identification sheets like this one here that Aliyah has to help you recognize some of the birds in your area. To follow up with your bird survey and use some other tools, there's great apps like BirdNet and this one tracks the pitch and frequency of the bird calls and helps identify birds in the area. So that's one that we would really recommend. Here we go. Oh, I think we have a robin and a starling. Amazing. So as well as using apps like BirdNet, you can also use these identification booklets to help you identify some of the birds in your area. Finally, when it comes to recording your surveys of your local waterways, it's really important that you share the results of your surveys with organisations such as Birdwatch Ireland. They record really important information about birds and their welfare. So earlier on, when we were doing our bird watching, we collected some natural materials, which we will now use to make our very special bird crowns. So for this, you need um, maybe a piece of ribbon, or I have some lovely hessian uh, ribbon here. And we also have some masking tape, a pair of scissors, and our found objects also might use a little bit of twine if we need to. So to begin with we need to make sure that our ribbon is long enough for our head. So do you want to measure it around Mike? I sure do. And making sure that it's long enough that you can tie when you're finished Perfect. making your crown. That's a good spot. Yeah. So we'll just cut two of them. Measure out another one. 
Thank you. Lovely. Great. There's yours there. Cool. And what you'll do is you'll use the natural objects that you found to weave into your hessian material or maybe you have another type of material that will allow you to do this and if not you can attach using your masking tape onto your ribbon so that you have a nice little piece of foliage in here and you can go along the way like that awesome yeah, sounds good sounds great I'm looking forward to getting stuck in with this. This um, crown really makes me think of the wren, who is known as the king of all birds. Ooh. And there's a very interesting story about the wren, whose name in Irish is Androlean. And Androlean means trickster. Ooh. And the Drolean or the wren is well known for its cunningness and its trickery. And this is, uh, can be seen in the story, The King of All Birds. Would you like to hear it? I would love to. Sounds like perfect accompaniment for our crafting. Well, once upon a time, there was a bird on Drolene, the wren. And this bird was a very, very cunning and clever little bird. And all of the birds came together and they said, you know what, we're going to race each other. And we're going to see who can fly the furthest into the sky and the birds all lined up ready to fly do you know any birds Leah what birds do you know maybe the magpie the magpie was there was the starling there too the starling was there oh my the robin and oh. the eagle Ooh. and the, the wren said I know what I'll do I'm going to sneak under the wing of the eagle and it crept in on it and it hid in. So when the race started and the birds started flying into the sky, the droning or the, the wren was hiding under the eagle. Of course, we know an eagle is a very strong bird. It can fly really far distances. So as the eagle was winning the race and coming to the end, it heard a little leap, a little shout of joy. And the wren said, yippee! I won and with that the eagle got really tired and started to, to drop down and the wren flew out and flew further into the sky and won the race <gasps> trickster trickster well the wren said if the eagle can win for its strength I can win for my intelligence <laughs> what a cunning little bird it did it won <laughs> look at and that and that's the story of how the, the wren became the king of all birds so we can remember that sneaky wren when we wear our crowns. Mm -hmm. So I'm just using this tape to secure some of the materials that I added to my crown. Would you like some as well? Sure. And I might add one final, ooh, a feather, I think, to my crown. I'm excited to see how it'll look. Lovely. This is the outside of my crown here, and then this is the inside where I have a little bit of tape to make it nice and comfortable to wear. How do I look? Sure, you look just like the king of the birds. Lovely. <laughs> so good. Oh, I hope mine stays as well as yours. Very nice. We're a good hairstyle for this today. <laughs> Wow, it's really cool to see some of the objects that we came upon when we were looking for our birds and our plant friends. Um, I can see using our swatch that Aaliyah has used a U, um, part of a U plant in her crown. <laughs> 
And I noticed the little beech nuts on Susan's here, thinking about the seeds at this time we can see on the forest floor. What else can we find? Ooh, I think you have a piece of holly in yours there. I remember that was quite spiky to touch. I mm, was careful with that one. And sycamore, I see a lovely sycamore leaf on yours too. Loads to, loads to remember and find out on our crowns. Citizen science and the river slave. Learn about your name and the birds and the plants who reside.